Brian. Yes. Um, have you ever been seething mad uh, because a retailer advertised one price only to find out you paid a completely different price? Um, seething. I mean, so this has been sort of like a bait and switch thing. Right. Um, right. 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 Now, how much would it enrage you if this actually happened to you? Uh, well, you're being so vague, and I have a feeling you're setting me up for something, so I'm not I sure. Am. I am, so just play along. Okay, I'll play along. Um, if you thought you were going to pay $53.35, okay, okay, and you agreed to the service, and the bill was actually $57.35, how would you respond? <laughs> well, probably not, what did you say, seething mad? Right. Uh, no. Um, this is over four bucks. Um, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that I would say something, but I can't imagine that I would be too upset about it. Certainly wouldn't get angry or venomous or anything. Well, Ben Edelman, an associate professor at Harvard Business School, ordered food from a family Chinese restaurant. When he got the bill, it was $4 more than it was published on the website. Over the span of several days and lots of emails, he threatened legal action and cited laws where the restaurant would supposedly be obligated to pay Edelman three times the fraudulent amount, a whopping $12. <laughs> the emails are complete with citations of the Massachusetts Consumer Protection Statute. Now, all of this is over four bucks. I want my $4. <laughs> Two dollars. Four dollars. Where's my comb? That's I have a, little... a comb. Where's my four dollars? <laughs> that's me a, my four dollars. For those of you who don't know, that's a better off <coughs> dead reference. Yes, better off uh -huh. dead. Well, uh, yeah. um, yes, over four dollars, yeah. Brian. This is over, over four dollars. I can't imagine this. Well, evidently, you are uh, not educated enough to know how to respond properly. Well, as you <laughs> well know, Jay, I happen to be highly educated. Uh, okay, then you didn't go to the Harvard Business School and take a class from Ben Edelman on how to rub your nose in it. Well, it, it just so happens that as of just a few moments ago, Jay, there is a new update to this story. Oh, really? Yes. In light of the... He got his $4? No. His $12? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. In light of the humiliating exposure of his emails, and they are some of the most humiliating I've ever seen, Professor yes. Edelman has just issued a very straightforward apology. It's an apology without ifs, ands, or buts. And that's actually something very refreshing to see. Uh, we should thank him for giving a good example of how to stop digging and to actually apologize. Lots of public figures could learn that lesson. But I do have to say this, Jay. If, it, if he got his initial supply of humanity and compassion from Harvard, I think I'd choose to go to UVA. Oh, the gang rape school. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stop and just retake it. Yeah, it'll be good. We were fine last time, though. So, um, Since you've been recording there, go ahead and mute our uh, microphones. Yeah, cool, man. All right. Sweet. You guys ready? Man, this setup is solid. Look at that. We got all of that. Oh, and I want to ask you afterwards how your process was going through that document. You're the second person to use it. So. Good. good. Excellent. Like all right, cool.